Hey family, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are doing amazing, that you are feeling great. Today we are going to create a gallery wall in my house. And for those of you that don't know, a gallery wall is pretty much just a wall of photos that are important to you and to your family. So this is the wall that we're gonna be working on today. It, right now it has this home sweet home sign. I've had that since we moved in a little over two years ago. And I really just wanted something different in the space. I don't have that many pictures up of my family around the house. So I figured this would be the perfect space to do it. Let's get into it. This sign was held up by two nails, so I got the hammer to get them out, but I could just easily pull them out. How cool is that? Instead of having to keep reaching over that hutch, I decided to move it out of the way, but then I saw the dirt on the floor that was behind it, so of course I needed to vacuum that up, mop the space, but then once I did all that, I noticed on the baseboard that there was more dust that needed to be collected, so I grabbed a disinfectant wipe and got that taken care of as well. When you're doing a project like this, measure, measure, measure. So here I am measuring the width of the sign and then I'm going to measure the width of the wall so that I can make sure the sign will be centered in its proper place on the wall. Instead of using nails to hang the pictures and the wall art, I'm going to be using these Velcro command strips. They are easier to hang with and for me, they don't mess up the paint that's on my wall, so that's why I'm choosing to use them. I'm being very careful to read the directions because I don't want these pictures falling off in the middle of the night to scare me or just falling off, period. These adhesives can actually hold up to 16 pounds in weight, depending on how many you use. I'm using two, um, one on each side, so that's eight pounds. But if I was to add two more sets, that would hold a total of 16 pounds. So I'm measuring one more time before I hang. And my husband taught me, or this is what he does, and I'm copying him is to take a pen or pencil and just make a small dot on the wall to mark my beginning spot. If you've been following me for a while, you'll recognize this sign or this wall art. Um, I got this from Hobby Lobby before Christmas and during my Christmas undecorate and simple DIY video, we actually spray painted the trim of this. It came in a natural wood color, so we used black spray paint to change the frame.
While straightening the frame, I remembered that we have a leveler in our tool bag. So I went and got that to help me with straightening or keeping the pictures and the frames level. I got these frames from Michaels, but everything will be linked in the description box. Okay, fam, so I don't know how good this is coming through the camera, but if you can see, um, the sign, the wall art actually has a white background and the frame or the shadow part on the picture frame is more of a cream background. So what I'm gonna do is this piece that says eight by 10, um, is probably on white paper. So I'm just gonna flip that white paper over and then just use that as this border so that it won't be cream around my photos, but it'll be white to match the wall art. So it'll all look more um, cohesive, if that makes sense. I picked up a tip from a YouTuber that I watched, Jenny Jacks. She advised that when you are hanging pictures, that to add tape to them to keep them in place or to keep them from sliding down inside of the frame. Here I'm using the same process as I did with the wall art to hold the frames onto the wall. When you use Velcro, be sure that you align it to the back of the frame so that it's not sticking out from the side when you hang the picture. Okay family, so now it's time for me to hang the pictures. I'm using my leveler and I am on the way. Everything's looking good, we got the thumbs up. But if you watch my office chair, um, decorate then you kind of have a foreshadowing of what's about to come stay tuned so how I'm spacing these frames is that I'm using my tape measure and I'm doing like an inch and a half between each frame and then I'm taking the leveler and first placing the leveler on top of the previous frame and the frame that I'm working on to make sure those sides are level and then I'm sliding the level over to the middle of the frame that I'm working on to make sure that that frame is level all the way across. Okay, so maybe if I tilt, tilt my head a little bit, it's straight. <laughs> I thought I had 10 picture frames. So I was trying to measure six on top and then four on the bottom. But just now I remembered I only have eight picture frames. Because when I was counting just now, and I was like, oh, I was trying to get six on the top, but I'm only going to have room for five. But then I was like, wait a minute. I only 
only have eight picture frames. So I could have done four on the top and four on the bottom. Cause what I was trying to do was like leave space. <coughs> Excuse me. What I was trying to do is like leave space for if I want to put some lamps or some vases with some stems in them or something for decoration. So I was trying to leave, make it even to leave space on both sides. But yeah, so let me try this again. And it looks like the top sign, the um, the title. I can't even think right now, y'all. I'm so tired of measuring. My fingers hurt from prying open those frames. Yeah, this was a great idea in my mind, but the steps, I just was not prepared to be this mentally, um, <laughs> this mentally drained with figuring out the measurements, dividing by two. I mean, you know, the simple math, but it's a lot. Cause then I had to measure the frames. Okay, yeah, you, you, you get what I'm saying. So let me just try this again. <laughs> what was I saying? Oh yeah, four. Four pictures on top and four on bottom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and as you can tell, the sun done left me too. Like, it's dark outside. So, let me just hurry this on up. All right, hopefully you'll get to see this sometime in the near future. Mm -hmm. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It's a good thing I use Velcro. That's all I gotta say about that. I'm moving everything over, including the wall art, because I decided to center the gallery wall between the light switch and the frame of the door, since I'm only gonna be doing four pictures to a row. Are you noticing how easy these frames are coming off the wall and then I just removed the command strip and my paint is not damaged. I love that. I just wanted to point out that I did remember to remeasure and to use my leveler again and also I'm making the dot for where I want the frames to sit. So I did go back and do all that work again. Okay, so now that I got this um, top row looking right, it's easier for me to go in because I measure two inches between the title, the wall art, and the, this picture frame. So I'm gonna come down, do the same thing. I'm just gonna start right here at this bottom and I'm putting my dot right at the two inches. So these are level, so I should be able just to go on across and just do my two inch space to kind of keep everything 
aesthetically pleasing. Yeah. That part, y'all. That part. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Cletus. Okay. All right. See what we got. All right, y'all, here is the finished product. So I've already put the console, the hutch, or whatever you call it. I've already put that back and ta-da! I like this so much better. I love it, I love it, I love it. But what I'm thinking about is the frames are all black and, hmm, yeah, this is more like a natural wood tone. So what I was thinking was, you know how they say like, shop your home, oh y'all. Hold on a minute, let me get these tools out of the way. Don't mind that, it's just a girl at work. So I've got this component system right here that I'm thinking, like it was actually um, more of like a cherry wood and I spray painted this like last year. So now that it's black, and that's black, and it's black, and that's black. I think they need to go together. So, BRB. Okay, so this is the look right now. I'm liking the black frames with the black component system. Now this right here, y'all, this is actually um, a cloth. It's actually a cloth material. These are speakers. So I'm gonna deal with this cloth material for now. Might run to Joann's or somewhere in the future and see about covering it, but I want the speakers to still be able to breathe because this is an actual, um, component system but what I'm thinking about is I have some different candle holders in my dining room on the buffet and I'm thinking I'm gonna like those better on top of the component system so get a good look at this and then okay what do you think um, with these candle holders. I'm liking them better just because of the height that they give. So it kind of doesn't make it seem as though the bottom of the frames are so far from the component system because the component system isn't as tall as the hutch that was here before. But I like that because then it gives me more room for vases and maybe um, some stems on the side because there's a greater distance um, between the top of the component system and the bottom of the frames. Yeah, so I'm gonna look for some stuff to style the top of this with because I think this is more, now that I've done the gallery wall, I just think it's more elegant, more updated than the home sweet home sign that was here before. I can't tell you enough how much I love this gallery wall. Every time I walk by it, I smile. I look at the pictures and think about the memories and the moments that I've shared with my family, and I just love it. I hope this has encouraged you to create a space in your house that just makes you so happy and is filled with memories. Thanks for your support, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!